Did the possibility of having a low-cost SLS 3D printer in your home die this week? Hi, I'm Ken of Wrist Innovations, and I'd like to answer that question for you in today's video. If you've been following the 3D printing news lately, the biggest news this week is the acquisition of Micronics by Form Labs. So first of all, who is Micronix? Micronix is or was a small startup of two engineers that designed and developed a desktop SLS 3D printer that recently had a successful Kickstarter campaign that raised over $1.3 million. That's the good news. The bad news, depending on who you talk to, is that Micronix was just acquired by Form Labs. Ironically, Form Labs was a small startup that was founded in 2011, and they brought the first desktop SLA 3D printer to the market at a relatively affordable price of approximately $3,000. Form Labs has since grown into a company valued at approximately $2 billion based on industry experts. So Max Lavatsky, the founder of Form Labs, has done okay for himself since 2011. So, why are so many people online expressing their disappointment with this acquisition? First, let me provide you with a brief background. In my opinion, there are three main 3D printing technologies that are in the realm of possibilities for the home-based slash small company market. First, FDM printing or fused deposition modeling printing. FDM uses spools of plastic filament that are melted in a heated nozzle similar to a hot milk glue gun but on an automated motion platform. These have been around for years, and the quality of these printers and the finished parts that they produce have improved dramatically. The price has continued to drop such that you can buy a reliable FDM printer, such as the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, on sale for like $199. The second technology is SLA 3D printing, and that uses stereolithography technology, which involves a laser to cure light-sensitive liquid photopolymer into a solid. This technology has also really improved over the last 12 years or so, and now you can buy a small SLA printer for approximately $200 that works fairly well. Third, the last 3D printing technology is the SLS 3D printer. The abbreviation of SLS is Selective Laser Sintering that uses nylon-related powders and a laser to fuse the nylon into a finished product. The SLS Home Desktop 3D printer is the last frontier to be developed for the hobbyist slash home market, and it appeared that Micronics had made significant progress in their breakthrough SLS 3D printer. They were just wrapping up a successful Kickstarter campaign and people were rallying behind Henry Chan and Luke Bopart, the co-founders of Micronix, because they appeared to be similar to the David and Goliath story. They were going up against one of the Goliaths of SLS printing and that was Form Labs. Form Labs already sells an SLS 3D printer, however it costs approximately $30,000. And if you include the auxiliary stations, it can reach $50,000. I read a recent YouTube comment that said, if you need to contact a supplier for a quote because the pricing is not on their website, it's probably not likely that you can afford that for your home garage. So I think the majority of negative comments about this merger are because instead of the possibility of the little company Micronics representing David beating Goliath Form Labs, Micronix decided to go over to the dark side and join Form Labs. The Micronix SLS printer wasn't without its problems, and there are several evaluations that are on YouTube from Stranger Parts, Uncle Jesse, and 3D Printing Nerd that document their experiences. Only time will tell whether Form Labs develops the Micronix technology into a more affordable SLS printer, my definition being less than $5,000 or if they will simply implement some of the features from Micronics into their existing $30,000 SLS printers and kill the low-cost printer idea that Micronics had birthed. For Henry and Luke, probably the most prudent solution was to be acquired by Form Labs because they were going to have to spend a lot of money 
to build a company infrastructure that would not only address the technical issues that they still needed to be solved, but to build a cross-functional team to address product quality, manufacturing, supply chain, logistics, service, etc. So, does that mean the hopes and dreams of all of my Chronic's Kickstarter backers are dashed and they will never have the opportunity to dream about having an SLS printer? Not so, Grasshopper. Just this week, a company I had never heard of before, I came across on my YouTube feed, and the company name is SLS For All. SLS For All was founded by Thomas Stark, based in the Czech Republic, and his goal has been to design and build a functional DIY SLS 3D printer. Originally, the project was just for himself as a personal challenge. However, during 2022, he decided to share his journey, and that's when he formed SLS for All. It's open source design to the public. We provide the documentation, bill of materials, 3D model of the printer, PCB drawings, software, etc., all free of charge. He has a terms of use section on his website that goes into more details. Thomas has created a kit for his printer named Innova, priced at $6,990. On Thomas's website, he mentions it will take about four to seven days to build the kit. Thomas makes the kits in batches. If you order within the next 17 days, as of the date of this video, July 14, 2024, the kit will ship during October 2024. Not everyone can afford a $7,000 SLS printer for their hobby, and I'm not sure how much testing Thomas has performed with his printer, or what the reliability and yield is of his printer. However, this could be a low-cost alternative to the $30,000 Form Labs SLS printer. You can find a link to SLS for All's website and YouTube channel in the description below. I have sent a proposal to Thomas to see if he'd be interested in having an interview about his company. So if he agrees, I hope to have that on a future YouTube video. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the Micronix Form Labs merger, as well as the promising news about SLS for All. Thanks for watching. Bye!